the Departmental Committee on Housing, Urban Planning and Public Works today put to task Lands Cabinet Secretary Zakaria Njeru and Ministry officials on pending bills, the state of slum upgrading, affordable housing and collapsed buildings in some parts of the country. And as Ayub Abdikadir reports, the ministry decried underfunding for urban development despite the growing demand for housing across the country. Officials from the ministry who are hard pressed on pending bills said the scrapping out of the construction levy in 2017 through an executive order shrinked their budget. Millions pending bills. In your presentation, I haven't seen where you factored uh, that because it is taking 15 percent of what you are asking for. There is a, a section that allows NCA to collect 0.5 percent of the cost of a project whose value is more than 5 million Kenya shillings. This particular provision was set aside in January 2017 through an executive order. So from 2017 to date, we are not able to collect because there was an executive order in place. Committee lawmakers challenged the ministry officials through the National Construction Authority to increase fee on contractors based on their categories. The ministry further decried urban development underfunding, saying that is the leading cause of mushrooming of slums across the country. As a country, we must put aside about 2% of our budget into slum upgrading and prevention. Then we can start talking about real effort to eradicate slums. The government's housing project, the ministry officials said they are on course to deliver their target. This committee would have wished to know how do you convert now from GOK land to privately owned homes? Because the moment somebody buys a house there, it becomes a private property. The ratio of mortgages to GDP, Kenya has one of the worst in the world of the ratios. Why is that the case? It is simply because our cost of mortgages is very high, and then our banks, they use what is called short-term lending. So you know what happens when it is short-term and high interest? It means that your monthly repayments will be very high. On the state of collapsed buildings in the country, the ministry was ordered to furnish the committee with a detailed report on the list of collapsed buildings and their contractors. And we're working at a, as a multi-sectoral uh, team to audit buildings that are under construction uh, so that we can uh, uh, address these issues of uh, safety. The ministry refuted claims of corruption in the issuance of construction certificates, stressing that the process is detailed and procedural. The official's appearance before the committee comes a week after the cabinet secretary gave it a wide bath. C.S. Njeru said he was on an official assignment in Lamu County. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV. Nairobi.